Is there a secret Metro 2 underground transport system under Moscow? The Moscow Metro opened to the public in 1935 with just 13 stations and 7 miles of track. It has been expanded greatly over the decades with hundreds of stations which make it one of the largest public underground metro systems in the world. However, it has been alleged that there is another secretive metro system under Moscow, one that is deeper than the public transport service, codenamed D6, but often referred to as Metro 2. Is there any truth to these claims? AJW Encounters takes a deeper look. Firstly, it is true to say that the Soviet Union has had a long and rich history of subterranean construction projects and they obviously built the public transport metro system. So given enough desire among authorities, they certainly could do it if they so wished. How could they build such a project without anyone realising? Perhaps equipment was taken lower down under the cover of the public metro system and soldiers sworn to secrecy assisted in its construction. Yuri Zitzif, who has extensively researched this subject, states there are four separate lines below the public network today. These are said to connect the federal security services, different government departments operating in and around the Kremlin and the designated government airport. The Moscow Metro Independent Trade Union said in 2008 that they were recruiting Metro drivers for the secret routes or routes. He stated that most would not be successful as entering these tunnels is only for people with special clearance. The alleged vehicles operating under the city are most commonly a single passenger car as in comparison with the public metro, very few people are using it and as already said, you need the correct clearance. Former Minister Mikhail Pultorinin stated the Metro 2 network could hide a lot of people and it has branches that go to the suburbs and command could move away from the epicentre of a nuclear attack. Vladimir Gonik wrote a fictional novel titled Abyss which was released in 1992. He claimed the book was largely true. Members of the Politburo would use the metro system and each of the elite members of the communist regime had their own apartment down there in case of public disorder or war. These apartments could hold their entire family and had a lounge, bathroom, kitchen and study. In the southwest district of Remenki, it is alleged that there is an underground city named Remenki 43, which derives from one of the many addresses where the facility can be entered. This massive underground bunker links up with the rest of the secret metro system and other facilities, which is said to be able to hold 15,000 people. An anonymous KGB officer speaking to Time magazine in 1992 spoke of an underground facility. The KGB officer said he took part in its construction from the mid-1960s and it took the best part of 10 years to complete. He put the claim forward that this network could hold 15,000 people for almost 30 years. Entrances to this network, it is alleged, are said to be all over Moscow, including the suburbs. Often disguised as a building development, luxury houses or offices, those with the clearance can enter this network if they need to. If it exists, and there are a lot of people who say that it does, are hundreds or even thousands of people moving deep underground on a secret train network to various classified locations? Are they using that immense space to store valuable or secretive items away from the public gaze? Or perhaps, with the fall of the Soviet Union, it has little practical use and has been abandoned. Let me know what you think. We make content covering all aspects of the paranormal and unexplained, so please like, subscribe and take a look at my other content. Thanks for tuning in.